In this video I'm going to show you a very unique way to create text-based t-shirt designs using AI artwork. So to begin with I'm going to be creating my images for these designs in Midjourney and Midjourney is just one suggestion you don't have to use it. I've also heard that Blue Willow is a really good free alternative. Here's their homepage and as you can see at the moment it says it's all free. Join the free beta. So if you don't want to pay out for Midjourney because if you want to use your Midjourney generations commercially then you have to have a subscription but if you don't have the money for that I don't want to pay then just try Blue Willow that should also work for these sorts of designs. So if you are going to use Midjourney there's a few tips that I wanted to give you for generating these images and um, so we can get better results for our text-based designs and first of all as you can see right here by this prompt if we just type in space are you going to get square images as a result and we don't really want that we want a tall rectangle a bit like a poster because that's going to fill out much more of the t-shirt design printing area and look a lot better. So in order to change the aspect ratio we can use a suffix so type in forward slash right here at the bottom and then prefer suffix as you can see it's already come up as a suggestion just hit enter and now we can add a value to this which will always be added to the end of a prompt so you want to write dash dash a r which stands for aspect ratio then hit space put something like five by seven five being the width and seven being the height as you can see in this image right here we've got two by three that's another option you've got and that makes for a poster type of design. Another thing you could add to the suffix is first of all hit space and then we could do dash dash Q which stands for quality and then space two and that's going to give us slightly better results in terms of quality in the default mid journey settings. Then hit enter and as you can see the suffix for all of our prompts is now going to be this. If you ever want to remove the suffix just type in the same command so prefer suffix and just hit enter and while this is blank it is going to remove the suffix entirely. So now depending on which niche you're entering you could literally just use one keyword you could type in forward slash imagine hit enter and just use the keyword space if that's the niche you're entering this is just an example obviously I still encourage you to find low competition niches where it's easier to get sales but in this case space for an example is something you could try that's literally how I got the image that you see in the thumbnail didn't type in anything else other than space but there is obviously some tricks that you can use to get better results here as well one thing I noticed with the space prompt is that you often have these sort of windows that the astronaut is stood in front of or looking through like this example as well at the top and if that's something that you want to avoid and um, a quick tip for the prompt is you could just simply put space then dash dash no and put window so anything after this no command mid journey is going to try and not include in the image another thing you could try and play around with here is the weights function so you can first of all hit upwards arrow to paste the exact same prompt back into the message box rather than typing it all out again. Let's say we also put planets and astronaut. Now you could add different weights to these words in order to emphasize them. So if we wanted the astronaut to be smaller, kind of like this image right here, we could add a weight of one. So you put two colons, and then a one after the astronaut. Planets, let's say you wanted a bigger emphasis on the planets in the image, put colon colon three and space colon colon two let's say. So in this case with this prompt Midjourney is going to put the most emphasis on the word planets and the least emphasis on the word astronaut. As you can see right here our initial prompt just space has got quite a few variations again with a window in it that the astronaut has stood within or looking through and here we've got the no window result which definitely does not have a window in it. If you are happy with one of your results you can use these buttons at the bottom to upscale meaning increase the quality of the result so if we wanted this image to be higher quality you'd have to click u1 if you wanted this to be higher quality in the bottom right it's u4 it goes one two three four and v stands for variation so if you wanted some more variations of one of these images you would click that button and it's going to give you similar results to this one but still with slight changes in them some more descriptive words that you could add to your prompts to try and get better results are things like hyper realistic or ultra high definition. You could add things such as vibrant colors. If you want a very colorful design that pops, octane render is also quite a good 
keyword that I found to get nicer results. And you could also try adding something like 8K to tell mid journey essentially to focus more on getting quality results. And as you can see, there's our variations. They're all slightly different. There's only one planet here in the background. There's two there. Here there's four. There, there's some small changes as well in the astronauts. So uh, sometimes you just want to keep on generating variations until you have the perfect result that you desire. And one quick tip as well to find inspiration for prompts and get better results is to use the Midjourney Explore page. So here we are on the Explore page. You can find it on midjourney.com on the left hand side right here if you're logged in. And this is essentially the community feed where you can see some really good results that other creators have come up with. And there's many ways you can use the Explore feed. You can literally just look through it, see if there's some really nice images that you think might work for print on demand and then you can see the prompts associated with the image right here and you might be able to find some inspiration in terms of keywords that you can add to your prompts or what you could also do is let's say you like one of the images very much you like the style of it you could also then hit these three dots right here to open options then go to copy and copy the full command if we then head back into discord we can put forward slash imagine and paste the same prompt in right here and make some changes to once again make it suit our niche so it says the colorful digital painting is superimposed over a mountain peak um, but let's say we want to enter the beach niche we could just change that right there um, all of the other styling examples right here can stay the same. The aspect ratio right here in this case is 1.2. So you might want to take that out and just let it apply your suffix to that. You can obviously change more of the prompt if it doesn't agree with what you want. But for the most part, you would want to leave it the same to get that same sort of style. Once you're happy with the results in mid journey, what we want to do is click the upscale buttons to increase the quality for the corresponding image that we want to use. Once mid journey is finished doing that, all you need to do is click on the image, open it in your browser, right click onto it and save it to your PC. Now, before we jump into Photoshop and edit this image, we still need to upscale it even further to increase the quality. And I like to use Nightmare AI for this. I will leave a link to it down below in the description. You have to just scroll down a bit and then drag and drop your image into this box right here. One quick tip right here is if your image is already bigger than 2000 pixels, then you probably get an error message. That's why I don't recommend using the beta upscaler in mid journey because that still doesn't increase the quality high enough for printing. Um, but if we use Nightmare AI, we can scale this up way, way bigger. So in this case, uh, you could select eight for the scale, for example, and then hit submit. And it's going to take a few seconds, upload the image and increase the quality. Now we've even tested this with t-shirts. I've ordered some from Amazon with an AI image on it. I'm going to probably make a video about that in the future as well to just show you the results. But essentially, once that's done on the right hand side, you get the higher quality version. You can click on this and it will open up in full size. And then you should once again, right click onto the image and save it to your device and then we can open it in Photoshop. So if you don't have access to Photoshop you could alternatively use Photopea which is free and you can follow the same steps that I'm going to show you in this video. And this image by the way is the one from the thumbnail. Like I mentioned earlier I literally just typed in space into mid journey and the aspect ratio and got this result um, which is quite lucky that it turned out so great but yeah sometimes keeping it simple can also be quite good. Essentially what you want to do is use the the type tool which is in the toolbar over here or you can hit T on your keyboard to now place some text onto this image and we want to first of all use a font which if I make this larger right here which is very sort of thick and bold and ideally condensed and I'm using Anton right here which is I'm pretty sure a free font I'm going to leave a link to it down below in the description there is other fonts that are similar to this but maybe just try this out as a starting point and the reason we want to use a font like this is because if we increase the size of it and try and cover the image as much as possible we can see that it does a great job of encapsulating a lot of the image right here at the top. If we had a very thin font, then a lot of the image would still shine through the letters. And that's not what we want. So I would also recommend changing the tracking of your text by selecting the entire word and then heading to the properties panel right here. If you don't see this panel, head up to window and tick properties. And the tracking is essentially the space in between each of the letters. And to change it, use this box right here. And let's say we take it to minus 25, as you can see, now the letters are closer together and we can scale this up again to cover most of the image. 
and make sure that your text and the image are always aligned to center. You can do that with these controls up here. Um, if you've got a line to canvas selected. Now to fill out this entire image with our text or with our word, just copy the text itself, then hit enter at the end of the word and paste the word in there again. Let's repeat that process four times. As you can see, there's quite a big gap in between the words by default. We don't want that. We want to decrease the leading right here, which is once again in the properties panel, it might be set to auto by default. Uh, let's type in something fairly close to the size of a text, let's put 350 right here. As you can see, that's brought these words very close together. Now let's just scale this down a little bit because the word is cut off at the bottom. That's essentially what you want to try and do here, cover as much of your design with words and a very thick, bold, condensed font. And now, um, all we have to do is head to the layers panel, find our type or text layer, hold down control on our keyboard, and then left click onto this text thumbnail. As you can see, that's going to select all of your words. And now if we select the AI image layer right here and then click this button right here to add a layer mask, that is now going to cut out a text from the image. And if we hide the text layer, as you can see, there is quite a cool result in terms of a text design. But you might be thinking this astronaut does not look like on the thumbnail, it's very hard to make out. And that's definitely true. So a quick tip to fix the alignment of your image to the text is by actually unticking this link symbol right here in the layers panel. And what that means is we can now click on the image right here and move the text around, which is really cool. So we could now align the head with the A down here, for example. And now we have to resize this mask a little bit, like so, um, to make this fit better. Um, it, it does take a bit of playing around and practice, but if you make sure that none of your letters are cut off at the edge, like so, and if you make sure that still the entire image is covering your words, um, then you can align elements differently, which is definitely really cool and handy to know that trick. Um, so as you can see right there, now the astronaut is way better aligned with our letters at the bottom and you can see its entire top half in the letter A. One thing you have to remember is head back to the layers panel and click this option right here to link them again. And here we go, this is the finished design. Now you can disable the background layer and just export this as a PNG to sell it on various different print on demand products and marketplaces. And in case you're not sure where to sell these sorts of designs, I actually made a video recently giving you five different suggestions of where to sell your artwork and also make sure to enter uh, or use this technique for your own niches and use your own phrases and words on this. And this is just an example. Uh, entering a very competitive niche like the space niche might not prove very successful, but if you're not sure about how to find lower competition niches, I also have many videos on my channel of how to do that. If you want to learn some more ways to use Midjourney for print on demand, then make sure to check out this video next where I show you nine tips to speed up your workflow and get better results.